Oh, me? Oh. You're both Hi. Miss Lamon, so. Yeah. <laughs> Her daughter. <laughs> Uh, my name is Safia Tulamin. I am the services director at Rhode Island Right to Life, um, and I oppose this bill um, for several reasons. Um, I would like to point out a lot of people didn't really want to um, specify what necessarily the safeguards were for this bill. Um, a lot of the safeguards contain language that is kind of vague uh, that I wouldn't really consider to be a safeguard at all. Um, uh, my colleague Barth had pointed some of them out earlier. Um, I would also like to point out, I think somebody had asked about how the bill in Oregon was doing, whether or not it was successful. Um, I actually have some statistics. Um, so I know that Representative, is it Aiello? Uh, Re Representative Aiello said that um, over half or m about half of the doses um, were not taken. Um, it's actually 692 of the lethal doses that were prescribed in um, Oregon were actually unaccounted for. Um, I personally don't find this safe in the least. Um, perhaps maybe that they didn't take them is good, but the fact that they don't know where they went is not. Um, I would also like to say that I oppose this bill for personal reasons. Um, one of them being that my grandmother struggled with cancer for about eight and a half years. She died about a year and a half ago. Um, and I was there to um, be with her and spend time with her before her death. She was able to meet my son just days before she died. Um, and the time that I spent with her, even the time that she was in pain or on morphine, was not any less valuable to me than the time that she was not sick. Um, I also work with disabled, developmentally disabled um, population. I'm sorry, I thought I dropped something. <laughs> um, I work with a uh, developmentally disabled population, and I know that a lot of them also, um, though the safeguards say that there can't be pressure or coercion, can be pressured or coerced, um, just as any person could be if they're told day in and day out that they're a burden to their family. Um, and I genuinely believe that this bill itself um, not only devalues the lives of those who may partake in it, but it is directly and inherently violent towards any person who we deem as a burden to ourselves or others who may believe that themselves. And I also genuinely... Oh, okay. Thank Sorry. You. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, you for much. your time. Any qu questions of this witness?